Yeah, so in this video, we'll talk about how to um, integrate EZVZ camera to the home assistant system. So I have the very cheap uh, EZVZ camera installed in my kitchen room. It is pretty cheap when you buy it on sale, maybe $30. And uh, it has all the function you can talk to the other side. And uh, you can also have some motion detect. Anyway, so if you already have the EasyVZ software itself installed to your computer, you can see it has a, a speak function and an other option. So we want to uh, integrate it to the home assistant. Okay, let's do that. So the first step, of course, you need to go to the uh, home assistant website itself. If you don't know how to install the home assistant to your uh, Windows 11 computer, you can view my previous video. It's uh, only take about three minutes to install that. And it is uh, free. So let's go to the setting and the device service. From here, you have a add integration option. Then you search easy. Okay. So that's a cloud, cloud based. So you need to add that. And here, of course, you need to use in the cloud username and password. So that's the username and the password when you connect to the uh, register your EZVZ camera. So it is uh, the email address. And the password. And keep the first one. Click Submit, and uh, it will give you two options. One is Alarm, one is the camera itself. So the camera, we install that in the kitchen. So the area we select Kitchen, click Finish. And then let's click that again and uh, select the camera. Then we want to add the sensors to the dashboard, okay? So we add it. It's like a by default one. And here you can see everything added to the dashboard, but the video itself cannot show. So the reason of that it is because you not enter the username and password for the camera itself. Every camera has its own username is admin, of course, own password for the camera. So we need to configure that. We go back to the setting, device and service, and you can see configured is here, is busy already here. But discovered here, you have one thing not config. Okay, so you need to enter the password for the camera itself. The camera usually is uh, at the back of the camera itself. Okay, the password. So let's enter the password. Submit. So after we success uh, config that, you can see that card is disappeared. Okay. So now when we go back to the overview, you can see the video itself <coughs> show up here. So if you only want to show the video itself, you don't need the other information, for example, motion, blah, blah. So if you only want to show the video itself as the um, main page, so you can do that over here. So let's uh, delete this one first. So we click Edit and click three dot here to delete it. 
okay then we go back to add card okay so by entity and from here you can see the first one it is, it is the kitchen you can see the kitchen one and we add it continue and to dashboard then don't forget to click down so we success add only the camera picture itself to the dashboard okay so hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day bye bye